Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And uh, before I get started today, I'd like to um, thank Sherry for sending me uh, my happy mail, but it was a happy mail box and um, a ton of stuff came in it from uh, stencils. Ton of stencils, more stencils, ton of stamps, and more beautiful papers, and journals, and uh, had a ton of pens. Well, I call it a ton of pens. And um, like I said, beautiful papers, journals, what have you, it was everything. And uh, thank you so much. And it's well appreciated. And uh, so today, oh, she gave me this beautiful uh, leather bound journal. And that's what we're going to be working in today. And uh, just want to show you a few of what I did. I really didn't know how I wanted to start out because these papers are the, the kind that, uh, you know, have the deckle edge on them. And uh, they're nothing, you know, they don't soak up anything like the dyed Wrigley. So, uh, I've always, you know, I've bought other little journals. Uh, my little journals, all of those have that same texture paper in it. I love the paper. It's just, uh, I kind of, uh, don't know exactly what to do with it, even though I love it. And like I said, I, I got four other journals that I've bought, uh, and they're also leather-bound journals from Amazon. And, uh, let's see... Um, I got this one, which I don't know if some of you may remember and may not. And, like I said, this is, you know, you can tell it's the brown. And I worked in it some. And then for some reason I stopped. And, uh, I got these from Amazon, and I think I ended up taking the paper out of them. I think this, uh, maybe some of you may remember, this here had the clamps, so I'll put different paper this is a uh, like the hard paper and I just you know cut out the uh, collage papers and did it on both sides and put the the uh, reinforcements and I haven't yet to put anything on them but I just like looking at the papers and, um, okay, so today, like I said, um, I started out here, uh, with some of the, um, stencils, oh, and she gave me a ton of beautiful papers again, and, um, here was one of them, and then we had another one with, uh, flamingos, which I love. And a ton others. And I have them all laying out here to the side. Uh, because, you know, she had to roll them up. So I had, you know, I put them out uh, on my floor with things on them to, um, you know, to straighten them out so I could use them. But anyway, um, so I use watercolors and some, you know, just trying to see what works, what don't work. And you see I've cut some of the... Uh, papers up and 
and uh, one of her papers had like uh, stained glass figures uh, or um, stencils, I guess I could say. And then, uh, well, she sent me some magazine, Somerset. And I got these out of, I think one of these may have come out of Somerset. I'm not sure. But then, um, you know, I'm always cutting um, cursive writing out. Any of you that follow me know that. And did uh, a bunch of the stamps. If you all can see the stamps in the background. Just put a lot of flower stamps in the background, which I think that's beautiful with the smoke uh, gray. And um, I think a lot of these images came out of um, the Somerset. And I just took uh, a bunch of watercolors with the yellow, sagey greens, oranges. And just, you know, just swirled it around with those colors. The gray, the smoke, the muted colors. And I think uh, a bunch of these were off maybe Pinterest. And you all know I'm always cutting out jewelry and the bottles. And this is one of the jewelry ads. And you can see I just went over it in the background with the blue and green um, watercolors. And you can see what I did here. Took one of the uh, I guess it's Tim Holtz. One of the square ones. And just use one color red. I didn't mix any colors up. And just, you know, stamped it however it's stamped. Which I like that look. But it's almost like I re-put it in the red and re-stamped it each time. But, you know, it's just uh, how it did. And I believe... Um, Maybe this come out, maybe the letters, it was like all the ABCs was on this one page. So I thought I'd cut them all up. And I used the, one of the stencils. And this one here, I used coffee grounds and smeared it on. But this time, you know, with this paper, it kind of grabbed the coffee brown grounds uh, a little bit better or not better but it grabbed them whereas uh you know you had to let it dry and then you had to like rake them all off it just didn't fall off like they do with the dying really because of the paper background but i do love the uh, texture the color and I'm, I'm still kind of going for that odd looking uh, mischief cir circus kind of thing. And if it, you know, kind of like this weird look, artsy vibe. And I thought I had one over here, but I guess not. Okay, so today we're going to try to do one together. And I was looking on Pinterest, and, uh, you know, gave me an idea, but mine is nothing like theirs. But, you know, they, I like the faces that they used in that, um, um, the folksy fate, folk, folksy. I don't know how you want to say folksy. I hope this is about where I want it. 
And I don't know how this is going to stay down because this, like, was uh, on one of the thicker pages. And I thought I was going to be using stick glue, but I'm not. And I've yet to refill my bottle up, so it's kind of all down in the bottom. Oh, and this background was nothing more than, um, I meant to tell you, the basic acrylic quinacridone magenta. Try not to let the light glare on it too bad. And I only use that. And uh, I think on camera it's showing up a little more um, bright. But still, uh, even though I still love the color. I guess we will try the... Which I probably should be... gluing the the book instead of the instead of the image. See it kind of dries out uh, too fast if I do the image. probably as much uh, paint as I have on here probably doesn't want to grab too good either. I think that's done with that stick. Then think let's see how did I want to do this I cut her finger right here so I could cut that little uh, piece that wasn't her finger right there and I think I want to cover that up with this And the little birds come out of the um, Somerset. But it was a, uh, a older issue. But I love it because it had the had so many um, like muted colors. Like the uh, yellows, the ochre yellows that I love. I love any... Uh, Um, Somerset Studio. Okay, and I want this to go down. I hope I don't forget if anything went under underneath I'm thinking this was somebody's waist that they had Uh, this this belt thing around their waist and I did forget to put something too probably a good thing they don't stick Ok, 
Okay. I think this was supposed to go up under here, and I just about forgot. But it was, um, I don't know, somebody's video or something I seen with, uh, kind of like hands and stuff in it. And it kind of gave me the idea. And... Go ahead and put a little glue instead of the glue stick on this one. Um, I want this to cover this line up right here, but... I realize on her hand, uh, yeah, I cut it that way with, you know, the white edge, but I think I may go back and cover that up. Then, it's like this uh, strand of pearls. That was the other half of this here strand, as y'all can see. Probably the hand should probably be on top. I think I'm about ready to run out of, the, of this stick also. I think I'll just put it on top. I could have weaved it through her fingers, but I think I'll just leave it. I think I'll go ahead and add this other hand that was down here, but since the theme of my page is kind of like hands, well, it's not kind of like, it is, it is like. here still had the little words let me move you guys down a little bit still had the words on them but I can go in and uh, you know take a brown one of my brown or gold favor Castillo knock it back a little bit I think at the end of the day no one's going to notice anyway and 
this one here for a little more visual interest. Um, okay, and this was, you know, the lady's uh, bodice. And I cut it out to use for this lady's bow. See, you would never know. It's like, kind of like thinking outside the box. I think, um, I think that's a good place for it. You know, you can always use that pen also, but I have a Sharpie. You want to knock back these. These white spots a little bit. And then I went ahead and cut the letters out from the magazine because I thought they were really pretty. And I'm always cutting out cursive writing. But I just always think it adds a little something, especially with the gold and the black background. I just really think it sets it off. And I think we'll put it here because I still have something I want to add over there. And then I had this uh, page, which I'm always cutting out words, so um, I'll cut out a select few of these. Okay, got my words cut out here. I'm going to put this on a little bit of an angle. And then run this down the side. See if I can't pick half this up on this one. This one at the bottom. Together. Kind of looks like it needs something there, but I'm think I'm going to refrain because uh, it kind of, I think, would take away a little bit from uh, the main thing. Let me see if I can turn my light off, see if it makes it any better without the glare. But I do think I really like this page. And I uh, hope you did as well, and hope I inspired you today. And as always, uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And as always, see you tomorrow.